As the third speaker, I will be summarising the topics covered by Jack and Jet. The topic being that prison, that prison labour should be banned in public works. The third speaker mentioned that prisoners need equality, but the public will not take into account that prisoners will definitely be, have a chance of being humiliated and degraded. Also, extra taxes are bad for the community, and the cost of security cameras and policing, policing are unneeded and will be too much too expensive. The affirmative team said that, that this will help employment opportunities after the prisoners are released from prison. But keep in mind that although the prisoners may have a slightly better chance of gaining more knowledge and experience in a particular area, if, if somehow they won't lose in all complete motivation, some, some people will still see that their prospective employee sorry, has been sent to prison and may not want to hire them. Additionally, there is a limited number of jobs. Hiring criminals will prevent people outside the prison who aren't criminals from going into that area of work. These people are blocked from this kind of work to people who probably don't even want to. The affirmative team also mentioned that the prisoners will gain useful skills. I have a number of reasons as to why this is not true. The prisoners may not be willing to do the work that is assigned to them, as they will have no choice in what they are assigned. Additionally, this idea assumes they want these new skills, but we think that these prisoners will most definitely be resentful to being forced. For a proper, for a proper rehabilitation, they must be offered choices so they can learn that they should make the right decisions in life instead of just being forced to do anything. If they learn how to make the right choices in life, it, it increases the chance of a, of a better future and less crime rates if rehabilitation is carried out properly. The opposition also said that prisoners are giving back to the community. However, we think that these prisoners will not feel like they're doing anything worth, worth, worthy while, whilst they are locked up in chains in a humiliating fashion and even if these prisoners are to do well with these required jobs, the members of the public will not necessarily acknowledge or appreciate the work that has been done. It might make people want to avoid this area of work, putting the prisoners in a bad light and creating worse degradation for the prisoners. The affirmative team also mentioned how this work puts them out in the open, in the world outside of the prison. This is untrue because in this environment, it is not particularly a good atmosphere because it is more of a simulation of what the real world is like after spending so much, so long confined in prison. They may feel even more isolated and degraded than before, and this is, this is a clear sign that this is moving in the wrong direction and what we want to. Away from re rehabilitation and more towards keeping the inmates in the exact same outlook on life as before, meaning that the same behaviours might be shown. Furthermore, the, the affirmative team said that this improves the public representation of the prisoners. This is definitely a wrong conclusion because the prisoners do not have a strong work ethic and motivation and to see these jobs being forced instead of willingly doing these jobs. The public may not and probably won't want to be near them if they think it's a danger hazard for their children, for instance. And even so, no evidence is being offered to support these claims. Using prison labour for public works is fundamentally degrading prisoners in a manner that compromises effective rehabilitation, leaves the community at risk and isn't even an efficient way to fund community works. On the negative side, we oppose the use of prison labour and instead believe that in-prison rehabilitation services should be prioritised and public work jobs are allocated to non-prisoners. We have presented four major arguments that prison labour is exploitative and degrading, that prison labour is worse for rehabilitation that it is an ineffect, inefficient way to, to fund public works and that the use of prison, prison labour creates a risk for the community. My first argument that I will be summarising is that the use of prison labour is exploitative. This is because it is shameful to put prisoners in the work and to punish them excessively. It will feel like a punishment even if it is not presented as one to the prisoners. Being brought out of prison is typically something that the prisoners should be looked forward to after being cons confined consistently, but the work with work only being the only with work being the only offered to them, they'll be especially degraded. They will not be paid sufficiently at all. Without sufficient pay, labour is coerced in a manner that is fundamentally unfair. To force the prisoners to, to work without pay, motivation will be lost and prisoners will be working in a completely non beneficial environment. 
the affirmative team is the affirmative team is seeking to force prisoners to do this against their will, even if they are of less important criminals. Prisoners may have made mistakes and consequently end up in jail, and so they, they should be guided in the right direction instead of simply being told what to do, something that is especially restrictive. My second argument that I'll be summarising outlines how prison labour is bad for rehabilitation. The objective for prisoners is to, in jail is to rehabilitate them so that they are fit to be brought back in ordinary life. How can this be expected for them if they are feeling more isolated from the public by literally being walked around in chains? We need to know what is best for the people and also keep in mind the prisoners' well-being, mentally and physically. Prisoners will definitely feel isolated from everyday citizens. Citizens probably be shown in their uniforms and guard constantly watching them. So in conclusion, I can say with most, most confidence that this is definitely worse for the rehabilitation for the prisoners, is degrading and has a lot of dis dis disadvantages to both the people and the public and staff and inmates of the prisons. So what benefits anyone at all? Thanks.